But no matter what type of music you prefer, every record is made with the same care and to the same high fidelity standards. Hey there, it's Teddy coming to you with another edition of Notes from the Vault here at Acoustic Sounds. So in our last video, uh, I was showing you some aspects of a collection that we had taken in. That's super clean, a lot of sealed, very audiophile-centric collection. But there was a very interesting vein uh, that we mined uh, out of this collection. Uh, highly collectible, very rare stuff that was pressed in the late 80s, early 90s. A lot of it was pressed in Europe. Uh, some up-and-coming bands uh, that helped to uh, create this sort of scarcity uh, for us collectors. Uh, so let me show you a few things uh, to kind of give you an idea of what we found and what we have available for you. Things like Nirvana's Unplugged in New York, uh, the recording of their legendary MTV broadcast. This has the hype sticker. Uh, it is uh, European pressed on white vinyl and it is an absolute OG. So uh, things like that. Things like um, Amorica from those uh, Dirty Robinson Brothers. The Black Crows. It is still in the shrink with hype sticker. It is also pressed on white vinyl, has uh, its original insert. Uh, speaking of OG, oh gee, it's Stevie Ray Vaughan, The Sky is Crying. I love this record. Uh, it has been reissued, repressed, and deservedly so. But if you are uh, one of those that uh, prefers to go back to uh, the original source, as far as you can get, we have it right here. Really evocative cover, really awesome photography. This is Seal, his second album uh, from the British artist, and this is uh, a British pressing as well, so from the, uh, his homeland. Yeah, The Cure, Kiss Me, Kiss Me, Kiss Me. This is a promo, double album, hype stickers, promo notch, gold stamped promo uh, notification along with a number. This is number 187350. So bingo for one of you who uh, is a big Cure fan and has been looking for this. We got it for you. This is my personal favorite that I'm showing. This is Kiko from Los Lobos, who in my humble opinion is one of the uh, great American bands from the last 50 years, and this is arguably their high water mark. And it just so happens to be in this area of uh, scarcity. So, oh, I would love to, but oh, no, okay. Okay, it's gonna be listed for one of you, but you better grab it before I do. So part of this uh, scarcity has to do with uh, up-and-coming bands, and in this case, an up-and-coming up band in an up-and-coming subgenre, and that would be grunge, and specifically Pearl Jam, and their first album. So, if this uh, area of grunge and uh, looking for original source stuff floats your boat, row on over to uh, the Vinyl Vault and we'll take care of you. Allison Chains, this is sealed. And that train engineer wants this because he's uh, blasting his horn at me. This is a uh, double EP. Uh, this is uh, uh, Jar of Flies and Sap. And again, sealed, just waiting to be popped open. Well, <laughs> The, uh, the train uh, whistle is quite appropriate because we're out here in central Kansas, in Salina, and uh, this seems to be appropriate. 
Garth Brooks, Rope in the Wind, European Pressing, early in his discography. And uh, if you are a Garth fan, we have this and some other things that we came across, early stuff, so check it out. Cool, cool record. Pop Pop, Ricky Lee Jones. Very jazz, mellow jazz vibe. Uh, Charlie Hayden is on bass throughout. Joe Henderson appears on a few cuts in that uh, very cool, laid-back, Ricky Lee Jones vibe. Yeah, super cool. All right, here we are. We uh, have to uh, take a breath, shake my head. I want you to sit down because uh, this is the perfect storm of rarity that we're talking about. It's a band's first major release. Uh, it also happens to be a just Hall of Famer. Oh, by the way, it happens to be sealed. I don't even need to say anything. You know what I'm showing you. Yeah. Never mind. No, never mind. From Nirvana. I mean, I'm kind of speechless to be holding this, and one of you is going to be immensely happy to fill a hole in your collection that you've been thinking about and dreaming about because you're not going to see this very often and here it is yeah there are more of these kinds of things that we're listing and uh, are out of this super cool collectible area i also want to point you to instagram i'm going to be starting a a daily monday through friday posting of an album something interesting uh, out of the vinyl vault and in particular on Fridays we'll call this uh, WTF Fridays uh, because there are some really wild weird wonderful things that were pressed on vinyl this is before VHS and you know, if you had an idea of something and you or you wanted to uh, get something across you would do it on vinyl and there is some inc <laughs> incredibly fun fun stuff so stay tuned to that over at instagram uh, anyway as usual i want you to do me a favor i want you to do what you can to keep it in the groove and i'll see you next time